It's a pleasure to welcome in first round pick Quinn and Williams already and enjoying what you believe is a, a, a brisk, cool summer day in Florham Park. Oh yeah, it's definitely cool. It's not really cool. It's not really cool, but it's more it's more of a spring compared to Alabama and Georgia. So Yeah, eighty two. Oh, 85, 87, and humid. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's Halloween. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like, Alabama, it's right? like spring practice at Alabama, so it's very cool, man. You look good. How you feeling? I feel great, man. I feel amazing. I feel I feel great, man. I just enjoy practicing, man. Enjoy getting out there, competing, learning from the veterans, learning from everybody, especially the O-line, coaches the O-line, in general, just learning the tricks of the trade or just mm -hmm. the NFL in general so I could be a great player, so... And getting the deal done in time for camp and all that, was there ever any, was that in jeopardy at all? Was there any question that you might miss the significant time getting this deal done? Oh, for sure not. No, knowing me, knowing my agent, man, we wanted to get this done. Did, we wanted to get this deal done as fast as possible so I could be able to compete every day. Uh, I, ain't want, I did not want to miss any days. I didn't want to miss um, anything, any meetings, none of that. So we wanted to just, uh, get this deal done as quick as possible. So. And you got a nice, mellow defensive coordinator. Uh, he is amazing, man. I love him. I love all the tenacity, the all of it. I love all the, the energy he brings, everything about it, because I know at the end of the day, when I go against the film, I have that same mentality that he has and dominate like he expects us to do. Yeah, I knew you, you probably had preconceived notions of what Greg Williams is going to be like, but when you got here, you're on the practice field for mm -hmm. the first few times with him, and you actually hear him mm -hmm. for the first time. What was your reaction? It was amazing. Like, I think I came from Alabama, so I came from Coach Saban. Uh, I came from, like, uh, Coach Cocker and different guys who, who just like Greg, just like him, got the same energy, got the same personality as him, and expect the same things. Expect the Bama standard and hold you to that standard every play. Everything you do, you got to do uh, to that standard of the defense, the standard of the Jets. So um, I love it. Now, this might be more on Bob as the play-by-play -play announcer, but we were joking about it on the K-Show last week that if it works with you, mm -hmm. Leonard Williams, your defensive coordinator's Greg Williams, you got to work something out with the Williams, like a nickname <laughs> or something, right? Mine it's, Q. it's too natural. I got Q. Leo got big cat, I think. <laughs> What's like, Greg got? Greg just g do <laughs> I call him g do That's my dog. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's just amazing to mm -hmm. make that jump, right? I mean, you're yes, a big-time program mm -hmm. that, that that is almost like a professional team. Yes, sir. But still, it's that next jump to the mm -hmm. NFL. So has there been a moment yet here in camp where you're like, oh, this is this is significantly different than what I'm used to? Oh, it's not nothing that's really been significantly different. It just uh, I went against uh, KO. Mm -hmm. And one on ones one time, and just during the day, and I just like, ah oh, man, like he's a Pro Bowler, so it's like, yeah, like it's weird, different compared to the NFL and college. So you know, they they, it's a lot of stuff that I gotta learn, mm -hmm. uh, that I'm still learning and making myself better. But it's a lot of stuff that I learned from going against the great guys on the offensive line, great guys on the offensive general that I learned. Um, but coming from Alabama, man, it it just helped me tremendously, because um, the technique I came in with, just uh, the, uh, NFL technique, the the standard I came in, standard of work that I came in with is the same way. So, and then like the coaching, like uh, I'm, I love to get coached hard. I love to get coached stuff. Even when I do something good, I want to get coached on the things I did wrong, the things I did just for real for Coach Save. I want everything perfect. Uh, and I know everybody can't be perfect, but I want to learn how to be prof. I want to chase perfection. So I love, I love everything about it. Yeah, for those that don't know, KO, Colegio mm -hmm. Assembly. Colegio Assembly. I think I've got that right. Mm -hmm. I haven't spent a lot of time with the pronunciation guide yet, but I think I've got that right. <laughs> um, he's a guy that has been to multiple Pro Bowls. Mm -hmm. Now, you played your whole collegiate career in probably the conference yes, sir. for talent on talent in the pit, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you're not going to, you're playing against borderline NFL talent every week. Yes, sir. But when you first come out, and go head to head against a guy that has been to NFL Pro Bowls. Mm -hmm. Do you immediately notice the difference oh, and yeah, what you, you sure have do. to work on yes, to make sure you have a chance against a guy mm -hmm. that plays at that level? Because you're going to be going up against those kind of guys every week. Oh, for sure, man. He teaches me a lot, man. Every time I go against him, man, I have to, I have to learn from myself. Like I just learn like different things. Like your first move not going to work in college. A lot of time, my first move work, but going against great and in the NFL, my first move, like being at present, my first move will work sometimes. But going against different guys. That's been a Pro Bowl, different veterans that have been in the NFL a long time. They know the tricks in the trade. They know everything about defensive line. They know what you're gonna throw. They know what you what you about. So uh, they know I'm a speed guy. They know I'm a finesse guy, and I got power also. So uh, I try to switch it up on them. I try to get them with different things, and I'm flexible. So I try to use everything about uh, myself uh, to to overcome them guys. And just going against a Pro Bowl guy like KO, I got to pull it all out. 
because he can, he got he got all the tools of the trade to beat me every time. So he just made me better just going against him. So Quinn Williams with us here on 98.7 ESPN and also the K Show, Bob Shoes and Don LaGreca. Um, when Greg Williams was hired, he's mm -hmm. traditionally been a 4-3 guy. Mm -hmm. And the first thought when he came was, oh, they're going to go 4-3. Mm -hmm. Then they find out they're switching back to 3-4 or going to stay with the 3-4. He's going to mix everything. We understand mm -hmm. that. But you're calling yourself a finesse guy. Mm -hmm. They draft you. How do you fit into an NFL 3-4 in terms of those tricks of the trade you're talking about having to learn? Or mm -hmm. how many different fronts have you already seen in practice and in the film room where now you realize you're going to be moved all over the place and they are going to try and piecemeal your role mm -hmm. to fit whatever personnel's on the field. Um, I'm not really a finesse guy. I can really, I'm really a hybrid D lineman. I think I am, me and Leo, because uh, we can play in, we play interior, we can do it all. So, um, I like Alabama, I played it all. And we ran a 3 4 at Alabama. Ran more similar, the same exact defense at Alabama because Greg Williams, Coach Saban, got the same mindset come, when it comes to 3 4. So, it's similar. Like, whatever he want me to do, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to play it to my uh, best ability and like they want to. Um, Play because well, it's I've been all player. over calling college games, mm -hmm. and no matter where you go, you always hear Alabama is about as close a parallel to the NFL as you're going to get mm -hmm. in terms of practice structure, demands on the is players, it? scheme, what they throw at you, mm -hmm. what they expect you have to mentally digest yes, to be able to play the defense. Do you feel that already, that you're maybe a step ahead of the other guys in camp a little bit, or maybe other rookies would be mm -hmm. because you played there? I feel like I am compared to other rookies uh, that's here. Uh, I'm a step ahead because just coming from that uh, aspect, um, uh, just learning quick. Everything at Alabama we did, it was thrown at us. And we had to, uh, on our own, we had to go home, learn it, uh, come back, expect, everybody expect to know it, everybody expect to do it. And this, the veterans that we had at Alabama was great veterans to teach us yeah. all the stuff also. So being here with great veterans like CJ, Steve, uh, Leo, Henry, they make sure we grasp everything quick. So. What's Adam Gates like, or is it a little too early to tell? He really an offensive guy, so it's too early to tell. Because <laughs> that's what I was going to ask cool you. Dude. Like, yeah. see, I would think, at least on the surface, mm -hmm. you've got a better chance to have a relationship with your head coach in the NFL mm -hmm. than you would in college because you're only there for, you know, three years, mm -hmm. maybe four. And there's so many players on the college level where you've got, what, you know, 53 to deal with, maybe more in camp. So is it possible that you can be closer to Gates than you were with Saban? Oh, for sure. I, I try to get close with all my coaches, right. man, just because they got a big impact on me because I can learn from every last one of them. So, um, for sure, the, it's not really like I'm I'm be cool with Coach Saban and, and not be cool with Adam. So, <laughs> Were you cool nah. with Coach Saban? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. He's a goat. So, it's like <laughs> Adam a goat. So, man, all these coaches, man, just here to help me, help me be better player on and off the field, mm -hmm. help me be a man on and off the field. So, I'm going to listen to everything they got to say and respect everything they do. Man, it's a pleasure meeting you uh, for the first you. time. Good luck yeah. this year. Yeah, thanks a million. Thank you.